All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your SmackDown review for October 13th, 2023 on the spooky edition, Friday the 13th for Friday Night SmackDown. That was a good SmackDown. A lot of big names on the show. You had John Cena on the show, Triple H, that game. You had Carlito. And then you had after his uh, 10-year vacation, Roman Reigns is finally back. So I was, thought that was a pretty good, enjoyable SmackDown tonight. All right, let's get to it. Uh, we uh, show starts off with John Cena. Pretty much just uh, just vibing with the crowd, getting them all excited and stuff. And then as soon as he welcomes everybody to SmackDown, the music hits. The head of the table makes his way to the ring with Solo Sokoa and Paul Heyman. No Jimmy Uso. Found that interesting. Thought he was back in the bloodline, but who knows? So they head out to the ring. Uh, Roman grabs a mic. He said he calls him uh, John Boy. <laughs> Another uh, reference to CM Punk. He used to call John Cena John Boy back in the day. So every week, pretty much, they're doing these CM Punk references. Anyways, he says, uh, "John Boy, if you're gonna open my show, do it the right way." And then uh, try this one time. Tulsa, acknowledge me. And then the crowd starts chanting for Cena. <laughs> Say, you guys are ch- you're chanting for a coward. He only showed up because I left. He had the he had the audacity to convince people to call him the goat, the greatest of all time. You already know who the goat is, John, the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Leave? Oh, we gonna make you leave, Oos. And uh, John Cena says, WWE is always unpredictable. Roman Reigns and John Cena in the same ring. Who knows what's going to happen? Who knows what's going to happen next? I'm about to throw you a curveball. And then Roman starts, gets, uh, Roman Reigns gets like this confused look on his face. Like, what are you talking about? A curveball, pretty much, he's thinking. He says, uh, John Cena says, I'm not here to challenge you. I'm here to acknowledge you. And Roman's still all confused and stuff. Uh, John Cena brings up uh, his uh, title reign. He says, 1,138 days you have been champion. No matter what an announcer says, that's the greatest accomplishment of all time. Man, he's giving props to Roman. What is going on, man? He says, I'm not here to challenge you tonight because I haven't earned it. I know someone who has. And then out comes L.A. Night. Yeah. His music hits. Cena hands the mic uh, to L.A. Knight. And he tells him it's your time. L.A. Knight says, Let me talk to you. You're the head of the table. Yeah. You're the tribal chief. Yeah. You're a man standing in my way. Yeah. Says, Things have changed since you... Since you've been gone for a month and a half. Two months, basically. And uh, Roman says, uh, I give you a couple months. They say your name now. <laughs> Roman's so arrogant, man. On a pedestal. Says, over 1,100 days as champ. What makes you think you can never stand up same ring as me? And he asks him, uh, who the hell do you think you are standing in this ring right now? And LA Knight. Says talking like that will get you referred to in the te- in the past tense. And the crowd went, Oh, getting all hype and stuff. That was a good one by LA Knight. I like that. Dig by LA Knight. And he says, I'm the fastest rising star in SmackDown history. And then out of nowhere, Jimmy Uso attacks LA Knight. There we go. And then LA Knight tosses him out of the ring. Uh, Solo Sokol right there in the back. He's got John Cena trapped in the corner. And then, uh, so it looks like they're about to go toe-to-toe. LA Knight and Roman Reigns. And Solo in the ring. He's at pre- LA Knight's telling him, oh, I'll fight any of you guys. I'll fight you and you and all these guys. And then Roman just rolls out the ring. And then uh, they're, stand- they're like standing right outside the ring. Roman and Solo. 
right here. And then uh, Roman Reigns tells Solo, hey, forget about John Cena. Handle him. He's talking about LA Knight when he says him. And then uh, Solo Sokoa, he gets on the apron, but he doesn't get in the ring. And he tells LA Knight, you and me tonight. And then, yeah, so that's going to be the main event tonight. Solo Sokoa versus, Ro versus LA Knight. Man, I love this opening segment. Back and forth with LA Knight and Roman Reigns. That was pretty good. It looks like they're setting up the main event for uh, Saudi Arabia, Crown Jewel. Looks like it's going to be Roman Reigns versus LA Knight, but it's not official yet. So, you know, to see, we'll have to wait probably another one, week or two before this match gets official for the main event of Crown Jewel. All right, next up, we got uh, Brawling Brutes versus Pretty Deadly. Pretty Deadly's finally back. The, I think it was the blonde guy that was injured. They defeat Brawling Brutes because, uh, the ref was the blonde guy was like faking an injury, so the ref wanted to go check on him. And then I think Ridge Holland was saying, "Oh no, he's faking the injury. Don't check on him. Let me let me whoop his ass or whatever." And then the ref wanted to go check on him again on uh, the blonde guy again. And then uh, the other guy he kicked uh, Ridge Holland in the head, and then the blonde guy rolled him up for the win. Pretty deadly, just annoying man. Just don't hold him back to NXT man. I don't really care about this match. All right, backstage, we got Carlito. He says, one word, describe me, cool. <laughs> and he was about to uh, take a bite of his apple. Bobby Lashley cut him off. And he showed up. He says, uh, welcome back, Carlito. And then Carlito challenges uh, Bobby Lashley to a match. Bobby Lashley says, man, I'm not even dressed, man. I'm in my suit and everything. He was in his clean suit. And then all of a sudden, the Street Profits, they attack Carlito. And then Adam Pierce and uh, the official referees and security and stuff, they show up to stop the beatdown. So Carly looks like Carlito's full-time. I'm happy about that. It's been a while since he's been full-time, back in the early 2000s. It was years ago, 15, what, 16 years ago, whenever he was there last. He was a full-time wrestler. So it looks like that's going to be the feud now. He's a part of LWO, Carlito. So we'll see what happens with that. All right, backstage, we got another segment, this time with the bloodline. Jimmy says, I'm trying to be you. I'm going to call the audible. You the, you the quarterback, and I'm the quarterback. <laughs> he said, we both can't be, Roman tells him, we both can't be the quarterback. He's like, man, no, no, you 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 the starter. I'm the second string. I'm the backup. <laughs> he says, uh, uh, Roman says, uh, Jay is old news. He's running around around here with Cody as his partner. That's a slap in the face to everything we do. Slap in the face for our legacy. Jimmy says, I don't want you to be slapped. <laughs> Jimmy just become hilarious, man. Uh, Roman says, I bet you don't. You don't call audibles. All routes. I do that. And then uh, Jimmy's about to leave. He's going like the wrong way where the door is not. Like he's going to like the middle of the dressing room. And Roman's looking at, looking at him all irritated and stuff. And then he jumps, he hops over the couch. He says, we good? And, uh, Jimmy says, yeet. <laughs> Roman's like, I don't like that. Don't stop saying that. But we good. And then uh, he tells Solo, hey, Solo, let's go, man. So they head out the door. Looks like uh, Roman's just kind of unsure if uh, Jimmy's going to be in the bloodline. Maybe he keeps him in or maybe he's, uh, he tosses him out of the bloodline. So we'll see what happens with that. Got uh, Bailey defeated Zelina Vega. It's whatever, who cares? All right, next up, we got Triple H, the game. It's the season premiere of SmackDown. Says he wants to call attention to an unsung hero. Adam Pierce just popped up out of nowhere. He was standing in the corner. He says he doesn't know why I asked him to come here, to come out here. Not only did he, did he do an incredible job. Of, uh, of a success as an in-ring performer. Adam Pierce over the last three years has done an incredible job, doing a thankless job. He has managed superstars from Raw and SmackDown. And he says, thank you. And they shake hands. And he says, Triple H says, the job is difficult. Not one person should do alone. And he says, Adam Pierce, you're getting a promotion. And he says, Adam Pierce is the new general manager of Raw. 
which leads me to who will be the general manager of SmackDown. And then all of a sudden, Dominic Mysterio, his music hits. He comes out there. He says, uh, man, are you serious? Fastlane was not a success. And then he's he's basically trying to say, oh, Judgment Day got screwed over. Are the tag titles at Fastlane? And the, the the Cody Rhodes and Jay who defend the titles at night should not be happening or whatever. It should only be the Judgment Day. And then uh, Triple H is like uh, trolling him. He's like, uh, oh, the I thought that noise was piped in, but it is re- actually really that loud when you're out here. He says you couldn't hear him, and then. All of a sudden, uh, Nick Aldis, I have no, no clue who this guy is. He's the general manager of SmackDown. And then, uh, and then uh, he says, uh, uh, Dom, Dominic, good to meet you. So he shakes his hand and he says, I'm a big fan. And then he paused and he says, of oh, your dad. <laughs> He's trolling Dominic. He says, uh, Cody Rhodes instrumental in a deal that Jey Uso, that sent Jey Uso to Raw. In exchange, a Raw superstar must now come to SmackDown. I would like to introduce SmackDown's newest superstar right now. <laughs> Dominic uh, says, nobody cares. Oh, what is this? Dumb update. Yeah, so uh, Dominic says, nobody cares. I will slap him and make him respect me. And all of a sudden, KO, Kevin Owens. His music hits, so he's a new member of SmackDown. He stunners uh, Dominic Mysterio. And then right there at the end, him and uh, uh, Nick Aldis holds up Kevin Owens' uh, hand. So they're going with GMs now. If they're going to go with GMs, uh, they got to do like a full brand split, though, man. You can't get you can't have Raw people showing up at SmackDown and then SmackDown people showing up at Raw. Up on Raw because that makes no sense to have two GMs now. So we'll see how good this guy is as GM. All right. Next up, we got another uh, segment backstage with the bloodline again. And uh, Roman says, uh, Man, K was on my show now. We got Cody running around on my show. Jay Uso on my show. Jimmy Uso is on my couch. Man, what are we doing? I just called the play. Who's the quarterback? <laughs> Jimmy says, you serious right now? Who's? Roman says, no, imagine if I was. <laughs> Roman's like all that irritated and stuff and annoyed. Jimmy says, I'm going to go. All route. Come on, Solo. So they leave. And, uh. Roman Reigns st- says, stop doing that. He said, yeet, when they left. <laughs> this is hilarious. All right, next up, we got another segment backstage. With This time with Charlotte Flair. She's challenging EO Sky for the women's title next week. Uh, breaking news, Charlotte Flair gets another title shot. Who cares? And the interesting part, uh, she was about to leave, and out of nowhere, Jade Cargill shows up. And they just pretty much have a stare down backstage. So it looks like they're teasing a Jade Cargill, uh, Charlotte Flair feud for her first feud, maybe. I thought she should have started on NXT and then like build her up because her, she needs to improve her ring skills. But I guess they're starting her off on the main roster. So we'll see what happens with that. Maybe she screws over uh, Charlotte Flair next week and then you kick off the feud that way. All right, next up, we got uh, Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso defending the Undisputed Tag Titles against Grayson Waller and Austin Theory. Grayson Waller hit Jey Uso with an elbow drop while Austin Theory was holding him. Cody hit Austin Theory with a power slam. And then Cody and Jey hit the 1D on Austin Theory. And then Cody hit the crossroads and Austin Theory for the win. It was a okay, solid match. And then, well, the good stuff happened after the match as uh, Jey Uso and Cody Rhodes are leaving. We're at the entranceway. All of a sudden, the Bloodline music hits. Jimmy Uso and Solo come out. Or, I mean, uh, Roman's music hit. Then Jimmy and uh, Solo came out. 
Jimmy had a, and the Solo had a stare down with these two. And then all of a sudden behind them, Roman Reigns comes out. And then we had the stare down, man. I love this stare down. It was great. Roman Reigns is pissed off look on his face. And Cody pretty much the reason that uh, Jey Uso left for the negotiated trade uh, to send him to Raw. Now KO's on SmackDown. So a lot of uh, past, a lot of stuff from the past is happening around the bloodline on SmackDown tonight. Or for weeks now, since Roman left. So if you're not convinced that uh, Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes are not going to have a uh, main event at WrestleMania next year at WrestleMania 40 in Philly. This is pretty much going to happen now. They put it right in in your face. It's going to be Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. Most likely we only got seven months left of the Bloodline storyline and it's over. And Cody Rhodes is probably going to win. And then Roman Reigns will probably go off to Hollywood. And they also teased uh, Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso at WrestleMania 40. They had a stare down. So yeah, I love this stare down, man. It was great. You just feel the all the tension in the building, man. When, these, when the stare down was going on, so I love that. All right, next up we got the main event: Solo Sokoa versus La Knight. La Knight hit a neck breaker on Solo. Solo hit him with a clothesline. Then La or uh, Solo tossed La Knight into the post. Back for a commercial break. So Sokoa hit a belly-to-belly suplex for a two-count. LA Knight hit a clothesline and then a DDT. LA Knight hit a power slam, and then he hit his version of the people's elbow. And then uh, all of a sudden, uh, uh, Jimmy Uso, he pops up into the ring. It looks like he's about to attack LA Knight, and then all of a sudden... John Cena intervenes. He hits the AA on uh, Jimmy Uso. So Sokoa hit a Samoan spike on John Cena. And then LA Knight hit the Blunt Force Trauma, the BFT for the win. And then all of a sudden it just, it cuts, it cut like to right to the middle of the ring. You saw somebody spear LA Knight. He pretty much destroyed him in half. And then you see his Roman Reigns. And he's holding his title up at the end. He taunted LA Knight a little bit. Instead of doing the... He, like, mocked LA Knight's uh, LA Knight chant. Instead of the... He did the LA, and then he put the the one in the air, one finger in the air. Thought that was hilarious, just trolling him. Trolling LA Knight. So, yeah. So, that was pretty much it for SmackDown. Looks like uh, Crown Jewels built looking look to be a good show on paper. Hopefully it delivers. But yeah, you got Drew versus Seth Rollins, the only match announced so far for one of their big matches at the show. And then most likely LA Knight versus Roman Reigns. And then we'll see what the rest of the card looks like. Hopefully Gunther uh, defends his title on pay-per-view. He always defends it on like the, the, the Raw before... Uh, the Raw before a pay-per-view or the SmackDown before a pay-per-view. So hopefully Gunther's on the card. It's a big show in Saudi Arabia. So might as well put Gunther on there. So yeah. That was pretty much it for SmackDown. See ya.